Hi, welcome to Rotten Red Bull. Sandra is back and today we are going to do yet another versus video. And the matchup today are Jean-Paul Gaultier's Le Mal versus Le Mal Le Parfum. So I'm gonna link to the other comparison video that we did with Le Mal and Ultrame. So make sure you check that one out. So this is going to be interesting. Both of us really like Jean-Paul Gaultier fragrances. Yes. Both of us really enjoy the Le Mal series. I have probably six or seven or maybe even eight in the Le Mal series. So there's a ton of language to it. So yeah, let's do this. Let's yes. spray on Jean-Paul Gaultier Le Mal. This is the classic one. It's classic for a reason because it smells so damn good. And I'm gonna quickly read out the notes for you guys. So we have lavender, mint, cardamom, bergamot, and artemisia. And then we have cinnamon, orange blossom, and caraway. And at the base, vanilla, tonka bean, amber, sandalwood, and cedar. And mm. it's, it, it never fails. Every single time that, uh, that juice comes out of the sprayer, I'm just amazed on how good it is. Yeah. It is so good. It's timeless for a reason. It's because it's so nice. It really is. Uh, and it's sort of a, dominated by the vanilla at the base. You can feel the lavender, the cardamom. Yeah. Uh, you can feel the cinnamon and then we have the the sort of woody base yeah. with the sandalwood and, and the cedar. Mint. Yeah. yeah. So it's it's, so good. it's classic, it's amazing. I think it's really versatile. You can put it on anytime and use it anywhere and pretty much any season, even though I prefer it more during the summer than winter. Yes. Uh, I've used it on dates, I've used it for business meetings, anytime, anywhere, and um, this is one of my sort of a safe fragrances. So whenever I meet a woman uh, that, or a man that, but this is actually more towards women for some reason, uh, that is sort of a sensitive to different scents and usually don't like a lot of different kinds of fragrances, I always put on uh, Le Mal. And usually nine times out of 10, they really compliment, compliment me and enjoy it. So this is my safe scent. Um, so how do you feel? You like it, right? Yes, I love it. This is so good. Yeah. Yeah, I have never met any woman who doesn't like this. Mm. So let's spray on uh, Le Mal Le Parfum. Yes. And Le Mal Parf Le Parfum, I'm gonna quickly read the notes to you guys, are cardamom at the top, then we have lavender and iris, and then at the, the base vanilla oriental notes and woody notes. Mm. Yes, this is oriental woody it has something sweet maybe something berry mm. yeah so i have a big smile on my face because uh, when i when the from the first time i got a whiff of this one in the store uh, i just fell in love with yeah. it there's something i mean this the 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 notes of vanilla and you can clearly pick up the vanilla yeah. you can pick up the lavender this iris so the notes are sort of a nothing spectacular but the blend, the whole composition to me is actually quite unique. This is a sweetness that I don't have in any other perfume of mine. No. Uh, and it's just so good. I mean, this is, I'm, 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 I'm a really addicted to it. So it has that sort of a slight powderiness. Yeah. It's not a heavy powder like um, uh, the Dior Homme, for example, but there's a slight powdery touch to it and it's vanilla dominant. Yeah. Uh, I really don't feel that much similarity between this and the original. No. They feel like they different. They are very different, yeah. yes. Uh, so one is more sort of a versatile, it's more, it has the cardamom and everything, it's heavy on the lavender, it has the mint. This one, I can't feel the mint, it's more vanilla dominant together with the iris, yeah. etc. Et yeah. Um, so let's cut to the chase. If you would have to pick, if you had a boyfriend or if you were dating someone and you would be on a date with him, which one of these would you enjoy more on him? Um, actually, I'm gonna go with Le Parfum. Mm -hmm. And that is because I think this smells so good, uh, but this is a fragrance that anyone can buy because anyone knows it's good. Mm. If someone has this, I know that they are um, 
they are more unique than if they wear this one mm -hmm. and that's attractive okay yes but you i hope that you also enjoy the scent more right yes yeah. yes okay <laughs> i do <laughs> okay cool <laughs> but but with that said i mean i love this one and i love this one so it, i mean they are both so wonderful yeah so which one do i prefer uh, i mean i absolutely love 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 the original la male uh, i think it's it is one of probably one of my most versatile versatile kind of fragrances that I can use anytime anywhere that I also know that most women enjoy on me uh, and men for that matter uh, but I'm so addicted by that vanilla iris combo in um, Le Parfum it, I mean the way this one sort of uh, just it, it just takes control of my entire being it <laughs> freezes my brain it makes me like a perfume zombie and I just sort of gotta have it around me and when I spray it on it makes me feel so good it makes me feel so sexy and that feeling is unbeatable uh, so I am going to choose uh, Le Parfum over La Malle yeah. But I am going to say this to you guys. If you have the money, go for both. You can't go wrong with any of them. And I think that they are actually a good complement to each other because one is not that sweet. And one you can use to work and anyways. Sure, you can use Le Parfum to work as well. You can use that anywhere as well. But to me, Le Ma Le, 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 Le. <laughs> to me, uh, Le Mal Le Parfum is way sweeter and they are quite different and to me that one is way way sexier mm -hmm. so with these two together they would be sort of a perfect complement to each other perfect fit in uh, your sort of a perfume wardrobe or perfume collection yeah. do you think you can layer these two with each other yeah i layer them uh, i actually tried sort of a layering all my different uh, lamals uh, against each other uh, they usually fit quite well yeah uh, but the Le Mal Le Parfum is so sort of a perfect on its own yeah. and I don't want to wreck that beautiful vanilla iris combo uh, so I usually rock that one alone yeah. but if you have Le Mal you can layer it with ultra male or whatever you want even with this one and the result is going to be pretty damn pleasing uh, so yeah that was interesting so yeah. we both actually preferred uh, Le Mal Le Parfum I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, then I would highly appreciate if you would smash that like. Come on, do it. You can do it. It really helps. And make sure that you follow me, Rotten Rebel, and follow Sandra as well. I'm going to link to her channel in the description below. So make sure you check her out. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.